Chapter 12 Job and I charged wildly through the forest, headed into what I could only hope was the direction of Ezra's place. I didn't care right at first which way we were going. I only cared about putting distance between me and Weasel. It seemed like Job felt the same way. After a while, I slowed Job to a walk. Wrapping my arms around his neck, I let my face fall into the damp, comforting warmth of his mane. I stayed that way until the shivers that were coming from someplace deep inside me stopped. Then I lifted my face and looked around. The forest was quiet, except for an occasional burst of bird song. I kept listening, and soon I could hear the faint, continuous murmur of the Ohio River. For a moment, I felt surprised that the river was still flowing along, unaware of my predicament and uncaring. Ja picked up the scent of water, pricked up his ears, and moved forward eagerly. I could feel myself relax. The big river flowed westward. All I had to do was follow it, and I'd soon come to some place I knew. I was grateful to Job for his steadiness, for all of a sudden I was so tired it was all I could do to sit upright. I slumped against Job's neck and let him take me toward the river. After a drink and a rest, I set Job on a path slightly up and away from the snags and rocks of the river bank. We picked our way along until the river narrowed and the sides deepened. Soon we were heading off a bit north toward Ezra's. I never saw him coming, but suddenly Ezra was standing in front of us. The look on his face was a picture worry, relief, and gladness all mixed together. I slid down off Job and ran to Ezra, flinging myself against him before I even knew what I was doing. We stood that way for I don't know how long. Ezra patted my back, making a soothing sound over and over again. Then he lifted me onto Job's back, and we walked the rest of the way through the forest together.